Hey, young world, this is X. I'm new to the channel. And if you like vinyl, if you like music, if you like pop culture, you like hip hop, you like old school, you like anything that made noise from the 50s and uh, down to this, to this right here, you want to stay tuned. Okay, so hit the live, subscribe, all that good stuff. Now check it out. We're going to jump right into it. Today I went record shopping. And I found some gems, my boy. I found some gems on 45s, and I found some 12 inches. But right now, we're going to focus on the 45s. And it's, some, it's something I had to share with you. Check this out. First up, I found uh, Roger Troutman from Zap. Rest in peace, a legend. This song right here is called In The Mix. Side B has a bucket of blood. Oh, like the, like the movie Carrie. They're all going to laugh at you. <sighs> anyway. I never heard this. I wish it was more bounce to the ounce or, 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 or heard it through the grapevine. But, hey, we're going to see what it do. We're going to put it on right now. Uh, check this out. So, what I plays, we're going to go through some other stuff. Let me see what's worth mentioning here. I don't know what this is. I found an Aerosmith. Yes, sir. Come together. I don't know if they covered the Beatles on this. Let's come together right now. Side B has Kings and Queens. Not familiar with it, but hey, Aerosmith, dude, I'm down with it. But we're going to move on to some good stuff. Oh, check this out. Woo, this right here is rare right here. Check this out. Orange Juice Jones, baby. I saw you in him. Walking in the rain. Oh, I messed up the record, see? I was feeling it so much. It's all right. It plays back. Orange Juice Jones, man. This song right here reminds me of my uncle. For some reason, he introduced me to this song. Uh, the first time I heard it, and, and I was I was hooked. I was like, man, this song is dope, man. And it's a nice, cloudy day today, so this was perfect for the occasion. Yes, sir. Def Jam, baby. There we go. Next up to back, Sheila E. The Glamorous Life. Yes, sir. Before Nicki Minaj, before uh, uh, Lil Kim, before MC Light and, and Queen Latifah, all them that was living the glamorous life, I mean, uh, that are living the glamorous life, Sheila E did it first, man, before all the bling bling and all this good stuff, man. Shout out to Sheila E. Now this one right here reminds me of my tweaker days. Sorry to inform me, but I used to party like a mug, you know. I used to stay up all night. All night long. Yes, sir. Look at that. Like no Richie. Oh, that was Wandering Stranger. Also some tweaker shit. <laughs> but yeah, Side A has all night long, man. For sure. All night long. All night. Hitting the chooky chooks. Shout out to Lionel Richie, man. This is one of my favorite Lionel Richie songs, man. It's something you can play like on New Year's, you know, when you're partying, you're drinking, you, you know, with your with your family and stuff. This right here, man, it's a short shot, man. Oh, I got a story about this one. This record I'm about to show you right now. When I was digging through the crates, somebody jumped all in the Kool-Aid, all in the mix, and they jumped ahead of me and started digging in the crate in front of me, and they dug this record out. But they dug it out on, on the on the 12 inch, you know. So I was a little mad, I was a little upset. I'm like, I wanted that record, but guess what? I found it on 45. So to you, to you, if you're watching this, the dude that was in front of me, look, eh, eh, eh. Look at that, Time X, Social Club. Look at all these rumors. Yes, sir. Did you hear the one about Michael? I think he might be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Let's see if it has an instrumental on here. No. It just has the long version or the short version. So which one do you like? Do you like the short or do you like it? <laughs> that's what she said. Or that's what I asked her. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Oh, this one right here. Look. This right here. This right here. Blondie, the rapture, baby. Come on now, on 45. Come on, man. Classic, man. This right here, dude. This right here, this record right here was the first time the average person ever heard anybody rap on, on the radio. 
You know, my brother told me himself the first the first person I heard rap was Blondie. Some people try to credit her for being the first person to put rap out on wax, but eh, Chaka's no, no, that's not true. But you know what? This record did a lot for the culture. It did a lot for the movement, man. It did a lot for the pop culture <laughs> as well as the rap culture. And so this right here, this record right here, is, is, is near and dear to my heart. I love it, and I know you love it too, or else you wouldn't be watching this, right? And since we're on the subject of pretty white girls that look like Michelle Pfeiffer, another blondie. This song right here reminds me of the girl I met on POF, you know? If you're watching this, call me, call me anytime, any place, so I can give you a hi, mama. There it is right there. Call me Blondie, man. This came out on commercials, you know, like a cell phone commercial. You, you might have heard it on TV, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. Another 45 worth mentioning today. Yeah, fame. Remember this? I they, they had a TV show, Fame, I'm Gonna Live Forever. I, I think it's this song. We're going to put it on. We're going to put it on. Make sure it's the right one. If not, we're going to toss this out the window and hit the fucking uh, chicharron man outside. Yeah, whatever, homes. Anyway, that's it for my 45s. <clears throat> as far as the ones that are worth mentioning. And... Um, but don't worry though, I got a stack of 12 inch records that's coming up next. I found those today, I got some comedy in there, I got some freaking r and I got some jazz, all that good stuff. All right, peace out, man. Stay safe, stay dangerous. Ah!